when someone else saves the day. We are conditioned for everything it seems, and expecting someone else to save the day is one of them perhaps. We even have a saying, a knight in shining armour to save you. I never liked that idea, just sitting around and waiting for a hero to swoop in and save the day, whether it be a knight or a maiden. Of course, we like it in movies. It's predictable and safe, and usually leads to a happy or at least satisfying ending. But what of those stories and the ones in particular I have selected for my usual rundown? Robin Hood. I would consider this known by most, so it goes top of the list. The classic tale of wrongdoing and justice for the people in the most peasant revoltish kind of way possible, and they won. So we are told that he was a myth, a legend, and these days maybe just a moneymaker. William Wallace, Braveheart. Again, we are led to believe there was someone so passionate about their beliefs, countrymen and way of life, they managed to rally an army of followers, but ultimately failed. That's the kind of hero they want you to see, the one who sacrifices themselves and still loses. Boudicca, one of our rare female heroes in history that apparently rose up and fought back, only to then be killed, of course. Guy Fawkes, another famous one that has been allowed to persist in its telling and in fact commemorated each year still to this day. The same tale over and over, so close, but they too failed. Those are all apparently real people, maybe not Robin Hood, from our past on this small island, but the fact that we have stories like that leads me to two conclusions. A. These people did exist and overthrew what was then in place, but after victory time passed, and although their names persisted, the stories could be rewritten to show they didn't win couldn't have the peasants getting above their station and believing in themselves. B. Or they are part truths and perhaps completely fabricated stories to try and instill in our collective psyche that we will always lose if we fight back. Either conclusion ultimately gives the same result. So I ask myself, what advantage would that give the programmers? Having a people not believing in their own collective power and what they are capable of could be a handy tool if you wanted to hold people down and decide what they are allowed to know. Knowledge is power, as they say. There are also a number of films. Even though many films have been made of most of the above, there will be countless others I don't mention. Terminator films, John Connor. The central character of these films being the one to save the day and bring an end to the turmoil. Poseidon Adventure, The Preacher. I've only watched the 1972 film for this, but thought it was great. Someone trying so hard to save people, showing courage in the face of adversity, only to die at the end himself. But he did save some. It wasn't all for nothing in the end. And there are other movies where we are led to believe that there is only one who can save everyone. The worm. The Matrix. Neo. Star Wars. Luke Skywalker. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings. Frodo. But Tolkien did a switch there because Frodo wasn't the one, or the hero after all. He failed, and Sam was the hero. Not because he was chosen, but because he came through when it was needed most. But in all those films, they didn't just do it by themselves. They had friends and something to fight for. And it may sound as corny as the films do sometimes, but love, friendship, and what is right in this world is worth fighting for and believing in.